Yo, I call me family, BB City. This is Bavarian Deadbot Batman. I'm the Deadbot, and Batman is cooking. I hope so we have something to eat. But can we trust the VB team? Trust is tricky and it's sometimes deceiving. And for the angry people out there that are pissed and raging in Twitter, I have something to say to you at the end of the video. So I want to touch on a few things like bots and if I think if Vivi is lying and stuff like that. So first bots, people say that Vivi has no interest in fighting bots because they make money from them. <sighs> no, I don't think so. That is the case at all. I think Vivi has every incentive to fight the bots and to get rid of them. They don't make in my opinion, enough money to jeopardize their reputation and get this whole project, risk this whole project. And because the drops would sell out with bots or without bots. And if you think otherwise, I can't help you. And by the way, if they wouldn't sell out, it would be, wouldn't be a problem for Vivi because they want to have stuff in the store for the new users to buy. So, no. And they make off the secondary market uh, a lot of money. True. And I did the math with 90% of the Mickey drop was going to bots. They would make about 100k on this drop with the um, comic drops, I guess it's a bit, a bit less. So, would they lose this revenue? No, because they would still be flippers. Maybe not all of them, but they would still be people who flip. I don't know the percentage, but there are a lot of flippers. And in the long run, this is generating um, revenue anyways. So, uh, this argument is, in my opinion, completely wrong. So, the next point is they haven't done enough to fight the bots. I get it and I'm happy that they're doing it and if for me they could have done more or could be doing more to fight them but you have to understand every decision you make in a company has a cost and it affects this company. This is one thing and the other part of this problem I come to later but we as a community have a very uh, comfortable place to just blurt out solutions and feel like you just have to do that no problem do that and you we as the, as the community don't have to consider the cost because we don't know every aspect of the business that would be affected and most of the time we don't care because we just care about our bags and our collectibles and the money and stuff and we tend to not see the consequences if you move everything to mcp it's unfair to the new users and the border the borders know that and vivi knows that too and it is always a balance and the other part of this conversation is i believe it the botting problem problem <laughs> <laughs> the botting problem wasn't se this severe in the beginning and I believe to a degree that it was 1% of the stuff as I said but this was a time ago and I believe also the botters ramped up they found new ways to, to cheat the system and of course they use it and if there is enough money a lot of people will use it and do that and this has come to the point where it's unacceptable and of course Vivi could have um, done more earlier but we are not the guys who make the decision we have not the responsibility of the money that is in Vivi we have not the responsibility of the employees of Vivi and stuff and we are very comfortable saying just do that and do that now it's better and in fact the fact is if you have responsibility for other people you decide differently so I'm happy that they're doing stuff 
they're do fighting this and the measures they have taken are showing to be successful for now so that's happy happy time for me so the other thing is people saying that Vivi is lying so first of all if you think that Vivi is lying to you you should get out of the project as fast as possible it is like hey honey I met a guy I gave him thousand bucks and he promised me to double that oh, that's cool ah, but I think he's lying I think he's lying to me but I still ah, I let him have the money and see what's happened with that you wouldn't do that in real life so if you think it's sketchy or they are lying or so get out of it and don't don't bother with it anymore so do I think they are lying no of course not do I think they are telling us everything in every detail and exactly how it is no obviously not it is a business and I do think the monthly users are well-meaning I don't think they are lying and exaggerating that much but it doesn't have to be necessarily really 100% exact this is normal and you have to take everything that comes out of a business or a government or a official with a grain of salt nobody's telling you the absolute truth for example you don't either if you have an Instagram profile or a Facebook profile you don't tell the truth either so if you expected Vivi to tell everything how it is and blurt everything out that's kind of on you but in general I think they are telling us the truth in a certain range so this is now the thing you have to decide if this is acceptable for you or not and the other thing is with uh, Vivi lying and Vivi being a scam or sketchy or shady what I've read on Twitter it's amazing they have worked for years without pay then they have convinced big companies like Disney to come on board with their project they have told and communicated early on all the time that they have a vision a big vision ambitious vision and maybe they took a bite that was too much but the vision is still there so if they are not caring about their users about the community about the market about everything about the bots do you really think that these guys are skilled enough patient enough to work the years without pay and with this bag of frustration that comes with it just to make a little bit of money and scamming and risking all this complete ambitious project which would generate much much more in the years to come do you think they are now getting impatient and say oh no I need to cash out because I don't care anymore they have already built successful businesses over 25 years and in this project which has so much potential you think they're bailing out because they're impatient or what I don't think so at all and if you think that as I said leave because if this should be true it is a bad move to stay and if you get angry this is the one thing I want to say to all of you who get angry on Twitter and everything if you're angry you're doing it wrong I'm sorry but you're doing it wrong you shouldn't get angry about your investments most of the time the anger is a reaction or a consequence of an underlying emotion like fear disappointment whatever 
and the lack of managing this emotion well. And this is something not on not for BV or investment. This is something you shouldn't do anyways. If you get angry because of delayed MTL or if you're not happy with uh, the enthusiasm of David Yu in a recorded AMA, if you get angry about that, oh, that's bad. You're making your own happiness dependent on other people. This is not a good plan at all. I don't know if you should trust Vivi. I do for the most part. Of course, I look critically, but nothing so far has changed my mind into not trusting them or has affected my investment strategy in any ways. I don't care if MTL comes now or in a year or in two years. I'm here for five to ten years. So most of the stuff doesn't bother me, but I find it ridiculous to see all this stuff on Twitter, how people react. So I had to make this video. Thank you for watching. If you're here, you are a legend. Dead bought out.